Thousands of protesters surround Bolivia's presidential palace. They came here to show support to their leader, Evo Morales. Limber William Muñoz is a 25-year-old student. He says he's worried about what's happening in his country. It's an interim government that does not represent us. It's filled with white people that look at us with racism and hatred. We came here to show who the original people of Bolivia really are. On Wednesday, interim president Janine Añez swore in a new cabinet. In a place where Bolivia's mostly indigenous community was well represented and where the spirit of Pachamama, or Mother Earth sacred to that community, was once revered, it's now been replaced with a Bible, a cross, and mostly non indigenous representatives. These people are demanding the resignation of interim president Janine Agnes. They're also saying that now it's time for civil war. That's how tense the situation is here. And even though the new administration says that they want to pacify the government, these people say the new administration does not represent people like them. The government is trying to quell the protests with police and military presence on the street. They're also trying to paint a negative image of Evo Morales and accuse him of excessive while in power by granting media access to his private quarters in the presidential palace. He lived like a rich man and spoke and defended the poor. This is an example of something he did and everything he has robbed. Eva Morales never allowed the media to come to the floors of the presidential house. In spite of the deep divisions in this country, members of Morales' MAS party agreed to hold a Senate meeting with the legislators of the new interim administration. They fear the party will be banned and want to be allowed to participate in the elections, as it's unlikely Evo Morales will be allowed to run. I would suggest to the Movement for Socialism Party that from now on they have every right to participate in the general elections, but they need to start looking for a candidate. Evo Morales is not qualified for a fourth term. That's why there have been so many protests by Bolivians on the streets. People say they're protesting because they feel the new interim administration does not represent them and want to make sure they won't lose the rights they were granted when Evo Morales came to power almost 14 years ago. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, La Paz, Bolivia.